With the rate decision behind us, we know now where market is heading. Or we. Hey there, Tom here from FibonacciTraders.com, your daily market recap, like, subscribe, let's see the charts. We will start with the SPY, but don't go anywhere. We'll talk about the QQQ, Dow Jones, IWM, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Magnificent 7, and many more names. No fast forward, let's start with the SPY. SPY ended up the day with 0.3% to the downside. The 500 is a very important area of support. Look here, since middle of April, SPY price is just hanging around this area as support, as resistance. Breaking below the 500, we will see 493 and 485 to the downside going into this lower trend line this is how it looks on the 65 minutes this is when rate decision came out basically no rate cuts no rate raises and then after mr powell's speech just went back down to the 500 now as you can see trend lines are the true support resistance for price action you know this trend line we drew this trend line way back and once again went all the way up got rejected back down below the yellow zone of the spy 65 below the 500 we will see 497 and then slowly slowly grinding down you will see all these supports to the downside qqq 0.7 percent to the downside bearish on all time frames broke below the yellow zone now the 420 is the support look left it was support over here support resistance throughout april and now breaking down and under we will see 413 403 when we have this gap at the 407 and you know that more than 85 percent of all gaps it's not surprising to you anymore we'll get filled this is how the qqq looks on the 65 minutes same at the spy once rate decision came out tried price tried to break above the yellow zone but then we got ourselves the flash to the downside now the 421 is holding on the 65 below it 418 and then back 414 412 and all the rest of the supports to the future when we have the 407 gap 85 percent chance it will get filled dow jones basically sideways move as you can see in the past two weeks or so sideways move between the 384 and the 376 bearish on all time frames breaking below the 376 and we will meet once again this blue trend line to the downside iwm also went up during hours went up tried to break once again inside the yellow zone but once again got rejected by this yellow zone the lower board of this yellow zone the 200 very tough resistance went all the way way down and the one to the 195 now failing to hold the 195 we will see 191 this is how it looks on the 65 minutes same as the spy same as the queues went up and then in the last hour of the day just went down now on the 65 minutes we have the 195 and then 193 and then back retesting this blue trend line it's all about trend lines fibonacci and of course really understanding in-depth candlestick analysis bitcoin let's zoom out on the bitcoin without the fti this is how it looks we have this blue trend line it's higher highs since april of 2021 but look what happens every time that bitcoin reaches this area what happens here we have a triple top here we have some kind of a double top triple top and now what do we have here same thing triple top and if we learn something from history every time price of bitcoin reaches this blue trend line what happens it flashes to the downside this triple top multi top from 65 ended up back to the 30 this double top ended up at the 41 and then 33 so now where price might be heading next we can take and measure the move we can take measure the move this one we can make measure the move this one you see same movement now if we take this line from here 
Where price is heading? 40. Will it happen? No one knows, but we need to learn from price action history and prepare for this to happen. For now, we can take also Fibonacci, swing low, swing high, and look at this. Where price is now? Below the 618. Next is the 55, 340, and then back to the 50K. Nothing bullish on Bitcoin. Ethereum, same thing. Continue to slide down inside this falling wedge. Downtrend on Ethereum, downtrend on Bitcoin, downtrend in crypto land until proven otherwise. Magnificent 7 ETF, the MAGS. What do we see? Inside the yellow zone, the no trading zone. Downtrend continuation below the 3784, and this gap over here will get filled. And then we have the 37 and 36. 27 to the downside, SOXX. Inside this downtrend channel below the yellow zone. Now the 204 needs to hold. Otherwise, these two gaps to the downside, the 193 and the 187, will get filled bearish on all time frames. All you need to do is put the FTI in your chart. Even if you don't know technical analysis, you don't know nothing about candlesticks, you don't know anything about trend lines. Once you put the FTI on your chart, first it gives you all the support and resistance for future price action, and furthermore, it tells you whether the sentiment on multi time frames, if the sentiment is bearish or bullish. If you want to go long on SOXX, all you need to do is ask the FTI, is this good time to go long on SOXX? Check this time, this table over here. The question, the answer to this question is right over here. MSOS. You remember yesterday's market recap video? We said that after this bull run, we will get some kind of a pullback. And we got the pullback, 15% to the downside. This is how you know where price might be heading next with more than 85% chance. How you do it? You learn in-depth candlestick analysis. You learn in-depth relationship between candlesticks, aka the universal language of price action, together with Fibonacci and, of course, trend lines, MJ. Same thing. Yesterday, we talked about that this yellow trend line is a very tough resistance. It's resistance for the higher high. But still, if we look left, we see that every time MJ reaches this yellow trend line, what happens? It's getting rejected. And we said that the pullback might be incoming. And here we are. We got ourselves the 13% of the downside pullback holding the yellow zone. Now let's see whether bulls or bears will take control from here forward. Like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss the pre-market preparations 8.21 Eastern Time. We are preparing together for the next trading day. Amazon, back inside the yellow zone. The yellow zone is like a magnet for price action. Nothing much on Amazon. Below the 175, this gap at the 173 will get filled. AMD 9% to the downside. If we clean the chart a little bit, what do we see? Downtrend, bearish on all time frames. Now you need to ask yourself, is this the time to go long on AMD? The answer is just here in front of your eyes. Not, you don't need even to understand what are all these lines. You see here this multi time frame table, the four hours bearish, daily bearish, weekly bearish. Now you need to ask yourself what will happen if the 142 will fail to hold the support. The FTI gives you the next support is the 127 and then you have this higher time frame, this yearly uptrend, channel, uptrend line, this channel, this downtrend channel is going towards this blue trend line at the 118 area. Tesla with 1.8% to the downside, slowly, slowly. Tesla is grinding down towards closing this gap at the 172. And here you have, if you are not long yet on Tesla, you got yourself the, the answer to the question, is this the time to buy Tesla? The answer is right here, bearish, bearish, bearish. Now 
the upper border of the yellow zone, the 176 needs to hold the support. Otherwise, you know what will happen. The 172 gap will get filled. And we know that more than 85% of all gaps will get filled. And if you really want to elevate your trading journey to become and learn from a professional trader, if you want to learn from my experience, how I look at charts, how I analyze charts, how I trade what I see, whether it's for swing trading, day trading, crypto, forex, ETFs, stocks, longs, shorts, check the links in the description, be in the description below. Join me on this magnificent journey on how to become your own indicator, how to start your journey for financial freedom through trading. Yes, it might be a long journey. For me, it took over two years, this journey, until I found a way. But with my experience and with my education, I will teach you everything that I know to help you shorten this learning curve. Check the links in the description below. Choose your path for financial freedom. Microsoft continues to move sideways. The 388 is holding below it 376. Meta, one day up, one day down. Not much of a real trend over here. And as you can see, Meta is stuck between the 438 and the 414. Above the 438, we will meet the 460 to the upside. Below the 414, this gap over here at the 400 will get filled. And then you have another two gaps to the downside. Google, 0.6% to the downs, to the upside. Inside candle, inside doji, which means there is an indecision between bulls and bears. This is the most significant signal be for indecision between bulls and bears hanging on this yellow trend line. We said this yellow trend line needs to hold the support. For now, it's holding a support. Now, let's see, can Google bounce back up above the 167 and back to the 174? Continuation to the downside. And most likely, this gap at the 156 will get filled. Apple earnings coming up Thursday, tomorrow, or already today, whenever you see this video. Apple, once again, throughout the day, tried, and look at this, went all the way up to the blue trend line, got rejected, and went back down below the yellow zone, bearish on all time frames on Apple. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? How market will react to Apple's earnings? It doesn't matter what we think about the company. It doesn't matter what we think about the numbers once they come out. The only thing that matters is, first, we are traders. We don't go into earnings with open position. It doesn't matter which company stands behind this price action that you see. Why? Because it's purely gambling. I'm not going into earnings with open positions because no one knows what will happen. No one knows how Mr. Market will react to those numbers. And it doesn't matter if the numbers are good or not. The only thing that matters is how Mr. Market and where Mr. Market will take Apple after the earnings. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are we going to break below the 164? Or finally, are we going to break above the 173 going towards the 180 area? Let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, hit the like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. NVIDIA, 4% almost to the downside, breaking below the yellow zone. Now you see mixed signals. Once you see mixed signals over here, you know what is what does it mean? It means we do nothing because the FTI gives us mixed signals and we cannot trade. We don't know, we don't know how to trade mixed signals. We need bullish or bearish mixed signals. We know nothing below the 802 this gap will get filled below this gap. We are going to fill the 687 gap. Micro strategy continue to break to the downside. Micro strategy, another 3.5%. Now the 1010 is holding below it. 
these two gaps will get filled smci 14 percent to the downside nothing bu bullish on this on this name smci from beginning of 2024 all the way to the peak of march 300 percent since then smci down 42 percent always protect the downside always use stop loss so i hope you found this video helpful if you did like subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell we are going live 8 29 eastern time preparing together for the next trading day until then stay safe